Hey guys, welcome to Prehistoric New Zealand. I have finally made this YouTube channel and there's a lot to look forward to in regards to videos that I'll be making in the future. But for now, I have decided to create a new series for this channel called Prehistoric Animals of the Month, where I discuss all there is to know about a particular prehistoric animal from New Zealand. This first video will be dedicated to Joan Whiffen's theropod. Joan Whiffen's theropod is an unidentified species of theropod dinosaur. It was found by Joan Whiffen and her husband Pont in Lake Cretaceous Rocks in the Mangahawanga Stream in the Tiho Valley, found in Hawke's Bay, New Zealand. The only remains of this theropod is a tail vertebra. Joan and Pont discovered their first fossilized dinosaur bone in 1973. However, at this time, there was no one in New Zealand who was capable of helping Joan identify the fossil. In 1979, after making many discoveries of marine reptiles and dinosaurs, the Whiffins travelled to Brisbane in Queensland, Australia to meet with an American paleontologist by the name of Dr. Ralph Molnar. Molnar inspected their fossil and confirmed that it was the tailbone of a theropod dinosaur, something groundbreaking at the time because dinosaurs weren't very common in New Zealand and this was the first theropod dinosaur from New Zealand. Judging by the size of the tail vertebra, it is safe to say that this theropod dinosaur was around 5 meters long. However, its diet is unknown. In the Taharoa Formation, there are three other species of dinosaurs. There's a Titanosaur, an Ankylosaur, and an Ornithopod. It is unclear what Joan Whiffen's theropod would have hunted, but judging by the other species of dinosaurs there, it would have likely hunted the Ornithopod and Titanosaur young, as well as scavenged for food along the forest floors and on the beaches. It is unclear what kind of theropod dinosaur Joan Whiffen's theropod is. In the 70s, it was said that this theropod dinosaur was an allosaur. It was even described as a megalosaur and a calcarodontosaur. However, a new type of theropod dinosaur was described in the late early 2000s called Megaraptorids. A dinosaur by the name of Australovenator, discovered in Australia, was described as being a Megaraptorid. Joan Whiffen's theropod was considered to be related to Australovenator because of their close proximity, so now it's believed that Joan Whiffen's theropod is a Megaraptorid. However, there is no physical evidence to support this claim. We have nothing that can conclude what Joan Whiffen's theropod was like when it was alive because the only evidence we have of it is a tail vertebra that was found by Joan herself all those years ago. Hope you guys learnt something cool about the first theropod to be discovered in New Zealand. I'm coming up with a plan for all the videos that I'll be uploading in the future. But for now, you'll just have to stick with this one. Hope you guys will consider subscribing. Take care.